Hey everyone, so I want to show you how to get the most out of your fabric. This is bullet fabric and it is one yard. This was purchased from Forget Me Not Fabric. Um, my stretch is going to be horizontal. Um, this is vertical. So if you can tell, it has the most stretch that way versus like this. So, if you can tell, let me scoot this down. My two raw edges are over here. And instead of just lining it all up together and cutting my strips out, um, depending on how long you cut your strips, um, you want to adjust it. So, me, I cut mine at 40 inches long, so I'm just scooting down one piece or one side of my fabric. And I'm just going to go around my table because if you can tell I have all this extra right here. And I'm going to get my ruler so that way I can measure it. So I want to go down and tell where it is 30 inches, I mean, I'm sorry, 20 inches. So one more inch off. Okay. So if you can tell, this is where I have my area for my strips that I'm going to cut out. And this side over here, I hope you can tell and see in the camera, is extra fabric. Um, this fabric right here, I'm going to be able to make uh, little bows or whatever I want. It's extra. This is a good way to save some fabric and not waste it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my uh, ruler across and cut it. And I'm using a rotary cutter. And as you can tell, I have all this fabric extra right here. Um, so that way I can make uh, little clips or whatever I decide to do with it. So usually I just fold this and put it to the side. And I make mine 5 inches wide by 40 inches long depending on what size you're um, trying to make for. So let me just make sure I'm still in camera's view. So since I want mine 5 inches wide, this ruler right here is 4 inches plus the 1 inch, it's 5 inches. So I'm going to make my strips five inches wide. And I'm just going to keep on going down until I have all my strips. 
And if you only need two or three, you can just go ahead and do that. However, once I've cut in, into my fabric, I like to just go ahead and cut them all out. And if I have extra, I just put them to the side. So that way they are already um, pre-cut and I can use for later. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. And I'll be happy to answer those for you. I'll be making more videos on head wraps and redoing some of my past videos. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.